Hello everyone and welcome to session 2 of Let's Get On With It, Dragon Pass Clan Star Zoo. Hard difficulty, long game. I have some things that I would like to say to you folks, um, but I reckon if they're actually important enough for me to say, I will save them at the end of the year. That way anyone who wishes to shut me up can easily skip past, instead of having to skip past in the middle of a video and you're not sure whether I'll actually shut up or not. So, let's go ahead and move forward. They said that any children born this year would have great destinies. Oh my goodness. Rare moment whenever I actually invest a point in the magic here, folks. So, it's been a little over a day since I've played. My memory is not that rusty. I don't know exactly what I would want to do, though. I think I'm going to go on another hero quest this year. Best of the trade. Take that to the war. Next harvest would be a good one. That's good. Good, 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 good. Um, and hers. And we'll keep two magic points in reserve. You know what? Take that out of crops. We'll keep three magic points in reserve. Randan died of old age. He died after telling his grandchildren a story of Lightbringer's quest, so everyone knows he has gone on to Orlon's Hall. Okay, folks, I think the first thing I'm going to have to do this video is reorganize the clan ring. Do we have a decent replacement for Dickfuck there who just died? <sighs> no. And while I'm at the screen, I'll tell you something. Having multiple worshippers of the same god on your clan ring does not help you with hero quests. It uh, actually lessens your likelihood of completing them successfully. The game actually tells you this. The advisors will be like, Hey, we don't have seven unique people on a clan ring. What the fuck you doing, bro? But, I mean, whenever it comes to magic... Uh, I, I've, I've got no one better. This is the man. Cola man. <laughs> he is the magic man. He must be on the clan ring. There's no one good enough. I mean, we have some excellent people, true. Oral Dag there, but I mean, who am I going to replace him with anyway? This clan is full of worshippers of Ronalda and Orlanth, and while well, Orlanth isn't bad, you know, he's my patron god and everything. Ugh, at least I have a trickster. So, I don't know who I want to replace this spot with. I think I will end up picking a worshipper of Barntar. You're younger. You are younger, and this is a true story, because yeah, I'm not seeing anybody else I want to put on the clan ring. 90,000 worshippers of <laughs> other gods. I guess I could send them to die, but let's not send them to die. Let's not visit the crag spider. <laughs> that would be awfully mean. I don't think I went to the crag spider in my first playthrough. No. I'm not even sure whether seeing her is safe for work or not. And then again, I did play for Daggerfall. And I did record Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, and that was totally safe for <laughs> Alright. I uh, lucky you. I'm going to reorganize the clan ring. Nah, screw it. You just go on that spot. Problem solved. So how are we doing here? We have two feuds, right? We have the Isoltings, and we have the Turtles. Eh, well, we're actually kind of at, like, a little peace state with them. Didn't I, like, accept cattle from them last year? I did, didn't I? I would like to only have one feud, but we, we, we saw what happened with the Isolting Clan. It was just meant to be. Crazy things. Oh, okay, the next thing that I want to do... Yes, I know my clan magic is poor. I didn't invest anything in the mysteries either, so learning the mysteries of the various gods will be harder. But if I had to pick one mystery I'd like to learn here... I gotta say, I want to learn Smite Chaos. Uh, I'm just a little bit worried about uh, dealing with various... ...terrible things, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw... ...15 goods at you. Smite Chaos. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to know. All right, devotees of Adalia, the hunted gods, seek your aid. <laughs> Haven't we already seen you this playthrough? 
Most of the Odalia worshippers of the Dragon Blast, which guards the hill. Well, this is our chance to show we are their friends. Okay. Matter has no political consequences. There are many ways to help them. We should do so. Stagas are full of stories when Hero Quest goes wrong and the worshippers are harmed. Thank you. Thank you, Custom Man. We're not going to lend them a treasure. No way. I will sacrifice to Adaya on their behalf. I'm actually going to give 20 goods for this. Because I'm a nice guy. Signs were good. I thought I had proof. Sweetness. Sweetness. Nine clan magic. You're goddamn right our clan magic is fairly strong now. You're goddamn right. Oh. Something that I wanted to do was reorganize my lands because my cattle were malnourished. So I actually think I'm going to be a little bit sparing in terms of raiding this year. I know that, you know, I don't have enough cattle, but I have a lot more cattle than I had in the past. So let's go ahead and be a bit more cautious here. I'm going to go ahead and get 125 cropland and we'll go up to 60 pasture. We'll go up to 65 past here. We're being raided by the Paluski. Thankfully, all of my dudes spotted them, and I do outnumber my opponent, plus I have stake perimeters to help me deal with the horsemen. This actually a result of me succeeding? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and maneuver here. Two points of magic. And... <laughs> I guess that's a victory. <laughs> you guys think that's a victory we took more losses but I guess we did preserve our uh, Atula and our food situation isn't exactly the most pleasant one but well, what you can do what can you do all right everyone let's go on our hero quest now I didn't build my shrine yet by the way what do you what do you guys think about the situation we don't have enough cattle we don't have enough cattle you must construct additional cattle I think I'm going to go ahead and be boring here, go on the making of the Storm Tribe. One again, it's really easy, I know how to handle this one, want to make my guy stronger here, he'll become heroic in leadership, hopefully his combat will increase as well to renown, be very helpful, particularly since you know, my combat dude died, he was only excellent anyway, so let's go ahead and do this one. Let's go ahead and make the quester a strong leader, and he was unable to enter the realm of the gods. Never mind. Most of our farmer is unwell. The rest have too much to do and to be able to work. Shut up. Delegation of Slapfoot Ducks from New Ha ha We do not. Yeah, we, we can't afford a Thane's Wear Guild for each slain duck. I was refused uh, I was refused entrance to the realm of the gods, which that's okay. Uh, that does happen. You should wait. You know, I only skipped a year, and I was like I was waited a year before I did it. But it's recommended that you wait longer before you attempt hero quest. At least I would recommend that, as the more time you wait between hero quests, the more likely you are to be able to enter the realm of the gods and succeed. At least in this case, although I invested some magic in the beginning to try to get in there, on the bright side, you know, I didn't lose my clan leader. And have to reorganize again. They are foreigners, we can mistreat them, we want to. They are Orlanti, but their versions of proper customs are peculiar. I will pay a Cotter's Wear Guild then. Duck, squ duck squawk mightily, but accepted the payment. Yikes. Okay. Let's go ahead and build our shrine to Urox here. A trickster from the Paluski clan comes to taunt you. He has a couple warriors from his clan with him to discourage you from attacking him. I hear your hero questers tripped and fell at the portal of the gods. Oh, hey! Because I failed to even enter a hero quest, you guys get to see this. In exchange for something valuable, I will bless you with trickster magic so that you will not be so loudly and come the next time. If you're offended by his mockery, they'll be upset we do not use him. What do you think? Me, me, I am the only trickster you should trust. I think so.
I'm not going to attack. No, we will rudely decline his offer. He made noises like a bird, removed his boot and smelled it, and then departed. <laughs> not sense chaos, smite chaos. Okay. <laughs> so there we go, folks. You wouldn't have been able to see that event if I wasn't even outright rejected from entering the realm of God Lady. We really haven't whole, had a whole lot of bloodshed this uh, season. We only uh, repelled one raid. I'm totally cool with that. I'm just saying, we only repelled one raid. Should I invest in trying to learn mysteries for someone who will help my crops? Or should I invest in strong one? Strong uh, potential mysteries like, say, Humak's True Sword. And Battle Luck. <laughs> and morale. <laughs> Useful stuff. Or saris. All tempting things. So, I think that by refusing to be able to enter the realm of the gods for a hero quest, that resets my timer and I need to wait at least another two years before I can attempt that again. Oh well, it's not a race. And I do appear to be relatively stable and surviving. So things could be worse. Let's go ahead and explore my own Tula here. Let's take... Dudes. There you go. Sweet! Fused lumps of iron. Garnath, the thane of the Grey Flox, Flox Clan, comes to ask if you know the details and the Linker Mai finds the true story and if you will share them with the clan. Do we know this? Uh, do we? We don't know the details. Yeah, I can't lie to him. We don't know the details of it. Offer him the details of another story instead. Same story. Oh, damn. Well, we didn't repay our favor, but at least we weren't liars. That's what matters, folks. We weren't liars. Alright, so let's go ahead and craft some iron now. And let's go ahead and add some more crafters, because we can! Hey, trolls! Unfortunately, they slipped past my defenses, but I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice. Let's not get crazy with the magic investment. Let's go ahead and do that. And that was painful, but hey, that improves clan mood. We were successful, we defended our holdings. Everything is right and kind of well in the world. No one is qualified to act, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I don't have a worshipper, Jelana Roy, okay? There is none. Seven cows, 30 sheep, and 26 goods. I am maintaining a shrine. We have Smite Chaos there. Hmm. I guess I could build a shrine to you too, lady. I have a lot of sick people. I could, um, uh, always sacrifice to Malia, the mistress of disease. <laughs> Not Malia! Not Malia! Malia never deals fairly. Are you crazy? Once you propitiate Malia, you can't stop or she will curse you. There's never a guarantee, blah blah blah. The sacrifice should be at least worth at least seven cows. Not even Irma would have anything to do with Malia. <laughs> Not Malia! Not Malia! Which I mean, in order for me to get the curing powers, I have to keep sacrificing the Jelana Roy. I want to make people better now. Come on, guys. I have so many sick people. Because I have so many sick people. I have more children than I have farmers. Fucking, fucking useless bastards. Not that they are useless. Okay. Tell you what. Let's get some more weapon things instead. Weapon things. Women from the Wildcat Clan come to urge you to help them prosecute. Don't dream of burning studs for no reason. You have always been our friends. We have... 
We can't sacrifice now. It'll be very hard to make peace between them, but if we succeed, the rewards will be great. Well, that's our friends. We're not obligated to help them. What gods need to feud. Offer to make peace between the feuding clans. Damn it. I tried. You know, my bargainer is only excellent. He can't do everything, okay? So... <laughs> hmm. I think I might end up going on a cattle raid. You guys want to go on a cattle raid? Let's go on a cattle raid. I know cattle raids upset you people whenever I do them. Because I'm like, let's send everybody, and you're like, Jesus, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't send everybody. <laughs> Here. Okay. Let's go and cattle raid the Paluski. And we won't send that many warriors, okay? We're only going to send seven people. Are you people happy? Calm down. I'm not sending everyone, okay? Quit nerd raging. It's cool. Relax. This is a small cattle raid. We're doing it, everyone. We were spotted anyway. See? I sent a small group to raid cattle, and they were spotted. So what does that tell you? I should send to everyone each and every single time. Now, I'm sure some of you are like, You can't trust the instance of one single random event. I can, and I will, and I just did. So, with that in mind, what does that tell you? We're sending everyone. Look. Science. Hmm, you appear to be a tad outnumbered here, bro. I'm actually not going to invest any magic in this one. If I lose my cattle, then I lose my cattle. I'm hoping my numbers here will actually help. God damn it, it's windy outside. Charge and drive him off. Fantastic. We even captured a horse. Bad news, the people are distressed. Umothkar, who expected Brangbane of the Wild Clan to propose marriage to her, has instead heard that he is wedded... Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Whatever. We have more cows! And we even have one more person and we had 35 babies. But hopefully their destinies will be great and full of... greatness. <laughs> okay. So things I wanted to discuss. First off, you people amuse me. This is a given. You people have always amused me. But what really amused me this time was, uh... Like, whenever I uploaded the sad tale of Clan Cybrixia, that's like an hour and 46 minutes or whatever... <clears throat> excuse me. And I upload other big videos, and at this point, you folks have come accustomed to that. You're used to it. It's like, eh, this, this is what Grimmiff does. Grimmiff uploads whatever he wants whenever he wants, and he doesn't give a fuck. So, we'll just take it in stride. Whatever, no big deal. Move on with our lives. Yesterday, I upload an individual video for each and every single year, and I get comments like, Oh, Jesus, fuck, I can't keep track of this. Oh, my God, Grimmith, this is absolutely amazing, incredible. How did you do this? What is this secret? It's like you're embracing 2010, Grimmith, when you uploaded 26 videos of Liberal Crime Squad in one day. Ah! And I'm like, so the eight videos are, I don't know exactly how long they were total, but I mean, it's not, they, it's got to be roughly equivalent to what that one video was, the sad tale of Clan Cybrixia, right? Right. I might have to close my window. It's a cool winter morning at the time before the light, the wind's just blowing right through. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that was funny. And also, I think a few of you don't realize that I know how to play this game. I have done it before. I, I even recorded a playthrough last year. It was only the short game. Because I only felt like doing the short game at that time. But I still recorded it and I uploaded it. I know how to play the game. Otherwise, I mean, I wouldn't have 
beat the game that I played? I'm just saying. I, luck's not on my side, so I have to know a few things, right, guys? I know Earth Blood, and I know having different worshippers on clan rings makes the world work. But you guys are free to continue to leave comments and suggestions and advice in the comments. I I do read through all the comments. I just end up picking and choosing things like I'm assuming they're for other people who watch the video. That's cool. And your efforts are appreciated, don't get me wrong. It's just funny, that's all. It's like, I know how to do that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? I did say at the beginning of the video that uh, I would put off things until the end, and if I forgot something, then it wasn't worthwhile. Anyway, that was the year 1338. It was a good year.